what's going on guys it's alexa back with another video and i'm actually surprised that i'm already doing a modification video to my jeep even though i just got it not even a week ago <laughs> but then again it is called a project jeep for a reason so um i already found some stuff online that i wanted to get started with so here i am so we have uh three different little minor modifications um Two of them are going on the outside, one's going on the inside. I'd say two of them are gonna uh, improve the look and the appearance of the Jeep on the outside. One of them is gonna go for function. I really think it's gonna help us out. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right guys, so here's item number one. These are the handrails or handle handlebars that are gonna go on the inside kind of attached near the top of the Jeep and that's going to help us kind of pull ourselves up into the Jeep and um, just kind of give us more stability because if we climb in the back it's good to have some support you know this uh, this running board is not very grippy so it's still very slippery so we don't want to chance anyone accidentally slipping or anything like that so the handlebars will really help so I'll get to that probably last All right guys, so here's item number two. These are grill inserts. So all I have to do is clip them to uh, the seven opening holes uh, where the grill is. And I really think this will give it a nice little black accent. Still have the holes open so it can still allow some airflow. And I think these, you just literally slide it in and it clips in and then you're done. So should be a pretty easy installation, but I really think it's gonna make the Jeep look really nice. Here's item number three. So these are gonna go on the outer rings or the outline of the headlights. So this will give it another nice black accent. Nice little uh, matte black going. I thought about gloss black, but I noticed most of the other things on the Jeep are kind of a matte black. So I feel like they require a lot of changing around. So I think this will look pretty good. All right guys, so here's the naked appearance, I'd like to call it. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm trying to get over this cold, but um. Here's the naked appearance, so I'm just gonna take a paper towel, wipe down the insides of everywhere that I'm gonna attach these pieces to. And I think all of these are literally just clip and go. So uh, hopefully they last pretty long, hopefully they're durable, and I really think it's just gonna clean up this look in general. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm a child. I like it. <laughs> Jeep's got black eyes. <laughs> 
Oh yeah. I like that. All right, man. So you literally just use some brute force <laughs> and just kind of push these in. I was afraid that the uh, the frame would break or chip or something, but it's actually a little more durable than I thought. The hardest part for me was getting one of the clips on this side of the light bulb. As you can see, there's really not much space at all for you to maneuver, whereas on this side and up here, there's a little more room. So I kind of had to push the light bulb this way a little and kind of uh, wiggle around it. So, but once I use all my force, pushed it in, looks good. Um, I will say, I know they have the, uh, the angry eyes option. I personally didn't really want that, at least not right now. I'm not too worried about my Jeep looking pissed off, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, I already like this accent, so it looks good. So I can't wait to see the uh, grill inserts. Sorry that you see bits of my dad's uh, truck in the frame right now, working on getting a tripod very soon. But for now, this is the free one. <laughs> so at first I couldn't tell if there was an up or a down, um, but I'm pretty sure the upper part, you're gonna have a shorter width in between the top and the first set of clips, whereas at the bottom, it's a little bit longer. So I'm pretty sure I have this facing upright. You can kind of see the groove there. So I'm just gonna clip and go. I'm having trouble clipping this one in. Every time I think I hear the click, I try to test it by pushing it out and it just pops out really easy. So I'm gonna have to f uh, fiddle with this one a little bit. So yeah, a few of these I kind of had to fiddle around to make sure all of the clips were actually in securely. Um, I certainly hope they are. Like I said, it's it's good for what you need it for. Um, I would possibly feel a little bit better if they came with some tape just to make sure they don't accidentally pop out. I'm not sure how they would, but um, you know, for for the price that you pay, not terribly surprised. But you know, the the clips they should do the job. So. Obviously, if I have an issue with any one of these possibly flying out or something, I'll surely let you know. But um, as far as looks, I think it looks great. Makes the Jeep look a little more aggressive and uh, doesn't make it look pissed off or anything like the headlights would have. But uh, I like it. Let me know what you guys think. All right, so now it's time to install these door handles. All right, so these handles come in four. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to need all four. I might just uh, use two of these. It does come with a nice little set of instructions though, so that's pretty cool. That crackling I might have heard might have been the uh, the straps rubbing up against the the mat that's covering the pole. So at least that's what I hope. 
all right guys so here's a glimpse of the handles like i said uh made sure i tighten them down all really securely so um the good thing is like i said i have these two extra handles so in case anything happens with the handles that i have or you know um i decide to put some in the back for any reason i have them here the instructions i guess they kind of helped it said something about uh using velcro i didn't see anything with uh velcro i tried to push up this little hanging piece here there's supposed to be some velcro at the end of it and it just it wasn't working for me so um but like i said i did the weight test on both of these so all of these seem to be pretty sturdy so but yeah there's uh these are going to be really helpful i know and here's one more glimpse at the front i like it i definitely like it so as i said before guys this is only step one this is going to be a project jeep and like i said i don't want you guys to think that i'm turning this channel into a jeep channel it's not supposed to be focused on any type of car because i don't want mustang enthusiasts not to subscribe to me because i have a camaro or you know vice versa so it's just any it's just anything that looks cool or is fun to drive then i want to i want to drive it or you know so um it's her auto perspective and right now <laughs> this is looking pretty good already so I can't wait to do some more stuff with it but this is just some minor things that I'm doing in the meantime um, but yeah as always if you guys have any other suggestions of what I can do that's a little lower on the budget right now um, feel free to let me know I'm gonna be getting advice from a lot of different people so um, I know that's coming in uh, just some of the friends I've been talking to they've been giving me a lot of suggestions so really excited for it but um just like i said just let me know and uh this is a work in progress uh so is the camaro i promise you guys it's a work in progress so um but that's the fun of it so you guys are going to be here for the journey but as always thank you guys again so much for watching if you enjoyed this one you know to hit it with a like and subscribe to my channel because i post twice a week so there's always something cool for you to watch so thank you guys again for watching and i'll see y'all next time take care